to be chosen to take the oath of office is the highest of honors and the greatest of responsibilities. The oath of office is normally administered by the court. And when one raises their hand and takes the oath of office, you are agreeing to a responsibility to administer government, administer your position in the interest of the community, and especially children. Those who take the oath protect by integrity and character the community. Now, let's say when you take the oath, compare it to plugging in a refrigerator or a computer or something like that into the system. Well, as soon as you plug it in, if that system starts to smoke and starts to burn, the first thing you do is unplug it quickly. If you remove power from a system, you disable the system. In this case, the oath of office gives adversaries, those who deal with deception and their intent is evil, permission by the court to reign. But that is like a signet ring for a king. Now once it's brought to the attention of the king that his signet ring, his administration power, is being misused. Once the truth comes out that the oath of office is violated, then suddenly, instantly, without having to go through charging with a crime, all that administration or whatever, the person who gives the power can take away the power. You just simply have to bring it to the attention of the court.